I can see I'm not going to get any work done until I give them their new pasture. Excuse me. There's the guy. How you doing? They were due to move into this next pasture here this afternoon, so they're getting out a little bit early, but this is the field that we applied the Redmond SR50 to, and it's got pretty good growth out here, so I don't think putting them out here a few hours early is going to hurt a thing. As I was letting all the cattle out into this new pasture, I noticed that this steer calf back here was sort of falling behind and not really going with the group like he normally would. And he's not walking that bad, but as I've been watching him, I do detect a little bit of a limp and I can see that one of his back feet has swelled up. So, before I turn him loose and before I tear this fence down, which is the whole goal for today, I think I want to get him in the chute and take a look at that hoof and just see what's going on. So the direction of the, the video just took a sharp right, but um, this shouldn't take all that long. We'll get this guy up there, get a good look at him and send him back out. And then we'll start tearing this fence down. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. Well, we got him, and I know a lot of people were probably screaming. You gotta move the side by side. He's not gonna walk by that thing. And that ended up being true. <laughs> I had that thought initially, and he was kind of walking up beside it. So I thought, well, maybe he's not that scared of it and I'll try, but it didn't work. As soon as I moved it, he came right back up in here. He's really not walking that bad, but I, you know, something just seems off to me and I would rather look at it, catch it early if it is hoof rot and give him some treatment or look at it and realize that it's nothing. But I don't know, something tells me there's something going on here. So I just want to get a closer look. His hoof definitely looks swollen to me, but there's not a lot of toe separation like you would see with a more advanced case of hoof rot. So because his foot is a little bit dirty, I think I'm gonna spray it out with the hose and try to get it cleaned up as best I can so that I can get a better look at what's going on and then we'll kind of make a judgment from there. Well, now that I've got this guy's hoof cleaned up, I can see what's going on. If we look here right on the border, sort of between the hoof and the hair, you notice that he's almost got like a little muffin top there. The, uh, the flesh is sort of swelling up. And if we look at the other hoof, you can see that it's not supposed to do that. What I can see though, is that he's got a slight abrasion under here, which is probably what is causing the swelling. So I think that although it's, I haven't ever seen a hoof rot on the side of the hoof like that. It's always in between the toes, but still I think that's what this is, or at least that we will treat it the same way. I'm going to forego the antibiotics on this calf because as you can see, he still gets around pretty good and this isn't a really extreme case. Like he doesn't have a large split in the hoof yet. 
And I think that just doctoring him with copper tox right now is going to prevent that from happening. What number are you? Hey, hey. 2321. I'd love it if you put your foot up here. Could you do that for me? You would keep it there. Oh my gosh, that would be perfect. I feel like you're not going to. Ah, this bar on the chute's in my way. So I might need to get a rope. I really wasn't figuring on doing this today, but uh, that means I don't have a good rope to tie his foot up with. But what I do have are some blocks. And if I can just get him to put his foot on top of the block, then it should lift it above this bar and then I can get my squirt bottle in there and squirt the medicine right where it needs to go. So we shall see how this works. Uh, I need you to pick that up again. Or just leave it there. That would also work. So what kind of also works, I mean, if I can't get a direct squirt on it, I can sort of apply it up above where it needs to go. And then, you know, obviously gravity will just pull it right down where it needs to be. As I usually do with copper tox or any sort of topical uh, treatment like this, I'm just going to leave them alone, let that soak in and, and hopefully kind of take hold and do its job. And once I feel like that has happened after a minute or two, we'll turn them back out with the other cows. I don't want to see you back up in here again, you hear me? Boy, still walk pretty good. I'll get the gate for you. Well, now that that's done, we can get back to what I originally came out here to do. Well, there's a lot of wires on this fence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's got to be a record. I don't think I've encountered a fence on this ranch with seven wires yet. And I've rebuilt most of them. Well, it looks like we've got a little bonus wire here that went right along the ground and as a result it's now been sort of buried and covered in the mud so i'm sure i can go through here and find it and detach it from these posts but getting it up out of the ground is going to take a little more doing so probably we'll save this for a little while and maybe the last thing i do before i go home is i'll hook that wire up to the side by side and just drive and hopefully that'll pull it out of the ground 
and why grandpa put a wire that low i'm not sure i assume that these posts have sunk over time and that originally this wire was you know up a little bit higher but we'll uh we'll never know <laughs> I wondered when the looky loos were going to show up. Yeah, you can go over there now. I think all the energy from the hit is just knocking the post around. I'm not really getting the board off that good. Not much holding the board on. Must be real deep. There it is. Wasn't that deep. Well, it's really starting to look like we're getting something done here, which is, it's nice. It's very satisfying to see. I'm not finished yet. I've still got a couple of posts and the gate down here to do. Uh, a couple of these posts over here were just a little bit, I mean, they're all a little bit rotten, but these I couldn't quite pull out of the ground by hand. So I'm gonna need to get the tractor out here. And I, I imagine they'll pop right out without too much trouble. Last thing I want to try to do today though before I pack it up is get this wire pulled out of the ground. Looks like it's only buried for about 8 or 10 feet so I imagine the side by side can do this pretty easy. Okay let's try that. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.